All right, friends, so we return to Controls expansion with Alan Wake. Now, there's not many ways left to go. I think we might be coming up to the end of it. Director, ma'am, great timing. Hartman just came through here. God, he was hideous. He tore the security door into the Bright Falls AWE site wide open. He was so ugly. Like, wow, I got a good look at him. And Christ, he does not look like he used to. The hiss must have messed him up or something. He, he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest man. Or a monster from some 80s horror movie. You know, back when it was all practical effects? Ugh, did, nasty. Real did you say something? Instant. Remember, I can't hear you. Never mind, just go after Hartman. I'm this fucking so guy. Disgusting. This fucking guy. All right. Darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, and rewrite it. They are drawn to the mystery. All right, let's take a look see at that. I've written and rewritten. Deconstructed, reconstructed, experimented with different voices, changed the style, changed myself, forgotten the language, relearned the language. Have I been here before? Gone down this path before? The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. You must know where you've been to know where you're going. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. My notes to myself. The only way to make progress, recap, then write more. The style then. Lose the fat. Make it clear. Ugly. Functional. Present. Be blunt. Only the brutal truth. Cut through the reality. Tear it apart. Rewrite it. Be clever. Make them do the work. Form the image in their minds. They make it. You just imply. Incept. They're no. To the mystery, obsessed. Don't you want Leonardo DiCaprio. Together, their interpretation, and there's only one because you give them no choice, and they believe in it because it's theirs now. Okay. I'll pretend I understood that. It wasn't just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Crazy man on a typewriter. Use a computer, damn it! Stuck. Let's go take care of it. Shits. Eh, not really that big of a deal. Tried to be the sneaky, but he wasn't the sneaky. I'll tell you that. How do you keep holding your right shoulder? Something happened to her right shoulder that I missed. I'm paying attention to. It's 
It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I've provided thus far has been of some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I do consider myself a keen observer of... We did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed, and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you, in fact, encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they say. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Tag and back him. Neil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offenses. What? You can't do this? I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. I'm offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. I guess they did not. Oh boy, here we go. I've forgotten again. Let's see what crazy we get into this time. I had a plan. I know it. I forgot. Stop staring at the painting. Dive deep. That was unnecessary as fuck. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. That's an understatement. I don't like the sound of that. Get out of here, darkness. You ain't Rick James. You ain't Charlie Murphy. God damn it, and now what? Is escape. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Did you see that? I saw that. Go back here, give me that back. Thank you for meeting with us.
The story needed many beginnings. Okay. Springs. Streams that turned into a river, a flood, and then an ocean. This was one. Wake used the materials he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. Wake put them in to make it true. His wife, the psychiatrist, his city. These connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. The thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her. Went berserk. Broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Safe. The more springs, the more the story became real. The more people believed. Cause and effect. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely. Where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head. Going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His. Escape. I mean, I don't know if you're referring to yourself in the third person or not. To make it true. But. Wake needed a hero. You're going kind of crazy. For the part in the story about. And you're not like six and a half foot. Needed something and Samoan. To convey an so you can't do the third person thing. Intelligence. Something that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. Wake created a Dada's poem. I try anything once. Or had he tried this before? Uh huh. Well, let's kick down the door and say fuck you. Okie dokie. Can't see shit. Another replica. Like the one they made for ordinary. Director Faden here. I need a ranger dispatched to my position. Oh, that ranger dead as fuck. Nice to see a director out in the field. I mean, how many directors do you know? Alice Wake interview. We already know she went kind of crazy or something like that. It doesn't matter. Let's go kill this son of a bitch. These are the notes of Dr. Emil Hart. I am continuing my work alone again since certain parties were too blind to recognize a golden opportunity. Despite my generous offers, the conversations came to naught. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. So I believe now that it was for the best. The sort of bold pioneering work that I am undertaking cannot survive under the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation. I have a history of seeking such partnerships. There was a time when I had hoped Alan Wake and I could collaborate. Together we could have produced art such that the world has never seen.
All right. I don't know if we're gonna do what I'm doing. Last long at this rate. You better have. As I was say, you better have more than one form. Charge energy. It'd be nice if I could have my energy back. The fuck is my energy not recharging? Is it only recharging the light? Oh, that's some bullshit. Damn it! No, it's gonna happen. All right, let's do that again. much bullshit. out of a fuck, does he? That's right. I can't. I can't do that. I saw, your, I saw your little weak spot there. Sit down, you son of a bitch. Hartman won't be a problem anymore, Langston. The shot him in the face? But investigations need someone to run it. Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. Ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here, an AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. Okay. But it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong, a couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown. There shouldn't be any incoming signals. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes. Uh oh. 
Looks like we'll be getting another Alan Wake game. Which doesn't matter if I played the first one. Things set in motion. If the alarm's true, then so is the reason for the alarm. The effect must follow the cause. It's happening again. I'll return. Hopefully it won't have been warned. be seven years, though. It's happening again. All right. Let's clean up this room. There is a bunch of shit to pick up, from what I saw. Must be where they studied Hartman. Kinda looks like Dylan's cell. I wonder if they treated him as badly. guys really need to show up just to be douchebags. Why are these assholes here? I just got done fighting a boss. So there's nothing up there. Mainly because I don't care. Look like anything's here. 
There's probably a hidden some something somewhere, but I don't care. Let's uh. Can we actually enter the thing? Doubtful. Nope. Maybe. Don't care, not looking for it. Don't look like there's anything in there. Anyway. Alrighty, let us take a stroll. Hey, look at thing. I could have just did this to begin with. Made my life a lot simpler. Director Faden here. Dispatch a ranger to this location. Oh. Put him down. Never mind. Good luck, Fran. Okay. So. Let us take a quick uh, run through. I doubt, I doubt, I doubt, I doubt there's going to be any convo points. What the fuck? There we go, Jesus. Not there's going to be any convo points, but let's check. Risk makes me wonder what other dangers are locked away inside the pyramid. All of them that they can put their hands on. The director visits my exhibits or something I have to go. At least some of them. Hello, ma'am. I heard about your little tussle over in nostalgia. So, uh, good house cleaning and things will get back to normal, right? Right? I mean, our normal, anyway. Can I get a situation? Whew. Okay, uh, Lord knows how many altered items snuck out. Staffing, we definitely, uh, gonna have to hit those college. Hard to imagine that. The hiss are still tearing up the place faster than we can fix it, but the cont ish. Considering the alternate. Any thoughts on, I know it was a sudden. Oh, uh. I completely no, forgot so to talk to him at the end of the game, apparently. All secrets, lots of meetings behind. You seem much approachable. But if I can give you, keep a grip on who you, I've been here a long time, and I don't know, but people change here. I'll try to keep my... Will you stay on after things calm down? Are you asking if I'm quitting? Oh no, ma'am. I'm not having some mid-level agent make a mess of my panopticon. Plus, I'm racking up serious overtime hours with this lockdown. Just don't take too long clearing up. My cat gets... I'll do. He must have gotten... I'll see you later. Like always. Oh, okay, okay. I think that was just from ending the game, to be honest. Well, let's check executive. Now, right, see if Pope or Arish have anything to say. Man, I never thought I'd be working in the executives. Look at me now. Nope. I'll in the Ocean View Motel. Could survivors be hiding inside? Hi, Jim. Nope. See you soon, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. All right, let's read it out. Let's see what we end with here. Wake evidence. A photograph of Alan Wake captured by Alice Wake during... An event in her home. Alice Wake, former wife of Alan Wake, has recently been visited at night by her ex-husband. Being a professional photographer, Miss Wake positioned cameras with motion sensors around the corridor he appeared in and managed to capture him, capture an image of Mr. Wake on film. 
screenplays, wake photograph, oh, holy shit. He looks like he could use a hand. Non-confirmed threshold manifestation occurred at Cauldron Lake, Washington. The citizens of Bright Fall had gathered in the town's southwest fields for the annual festival known as Deerfest. Eyewitnesses all claim that the day had been sunny, confirmed by reviews of the weather's area's weather report, but then, with no warning, a thunderstorm appeared in the direction of Anderson's arm and a tornado rose from Cauldron Lake. The torrential rain that followed caused a flash flood. It was, as if, it was as if day had turned into night. Yada yada. On the day of the flooding, the rock band Old Gods of Adgard was rehearsing in the field outside the Anderson farm, the homestead of the band members Odin and Tor Anderson. Both admitted to being in the heavy state of inebriation at the time, having spent days drinking their home-brewed moonshine while celebrating a deer fest. Hmm. These are the notes of Dr. M. I don't know, because that, that is it. So, uh, that, uh, oh, killed Hartman. Go us, but that really didn't solve the whole Alan Wake thing, did it? Oh, well, what can you do? I guess next up we have the Foundation. But, first I'm going to take a break, and we'll be back to do that in a bit, my friends. But until then, you all have a good day. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you guys in a bit.